Greetings everyone, Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea Tranquility. That's right, it's Wednesday, new release day here on the channel, each and every Wednesday. Today, we've got a couple for you here today, the first of which is going to be a brand new release, but it's kind of an archival release, because this particular album was recorded in 1976 and never released officially until this year, uh, and they kind of changed it up a little bit. The band, you've probably never heard of this band. They're a pretty obscure progressive rock band from Germany. The band is called Neuschwanstein. The album is called Alice in Wonderland. Yes, indeed, Alice in Wonderland, the classic story, a classic children's tale done by this great symphonic band from the 70s from Germany, Neuschwanstein, who uh, some may remember released their debut and only at the time. I think they released uh, a new studio album a couple of years back. Uh, but in 1979, they released their debut album, Battlements, which was a complete throwback to uh, earlier in the decade, Peter Gabriel, Genesis style of progressive rock with a lead singer that sounded remarkably like Peter Gabriel himself and all the usual musical things you might expect 12 string guitars Taurus bass pedals Hammond organ Moog Mellotron piano electric piano 12 string guitars electric guitars you know, the whole nine yards dramatic symphonic melodic progressive rock uh, battlements is a absolute unknown classic right from the 70s that if you haven't heard it and you love early genesis you need to check it out but anyway three years before they actually recorded and released that album they had put together uh early in their career before they even really decided to add a full-time vocalist because the singer from the battlements album not on this this thing right here alice in wonderland they loved the story of alice in wonderland and decided to kind of create a 40-minute uh musical soundtrack to alice in wonderland all right. Eventually, also, as they were going through the recording, they decided to add narration in spots, which originally were recorded in German. Uh, however, it sat on the shelf and never got released, which is a shame. Some gorgeous music on this. So fast forward all these years later, and uh, it was decided to resurrect... I think that also uh, Musea re-released or uh, released officially for the first time the German language narrated version of Alice in Wonderland back, I don't know, five or six or seven years ago. And now we have a brand new reissue of that, which takes out the German language and drops in the English-speaking narration of none other than Sonia Christina from Curved Air. Okay, so let's take a look at this here. Uh, Okay. So here you have uh, basically the story of Neuschwanstein, probably the early Neuschwanstein. This really doesn't start talking about uh, Battlements, you know, their debut album. This is all the pre, pre debut album stuff and the the, the writing and recording, uh, you know, and the live playing live out, out you know, out on the scene at the time. Some cool pictures, right? Kind of Genesisy looking there. There is uh, Sonia modern day okay she was asked to record the the narration for this uh back over the summer here 2022 in august i believe so uh what's this like well first let's talk about who plays on this right so we've got like i mentioned sonia christina does the narration it's kind of sprinkled throughout it's not constant right 40 minute long album so you get some in the beginning you know in the middle you know pops in here and there uh you've got klaus mayer flute and synthesizer a lot of flute on this album if you like, kind of like I said, um, early Genesis, like Trespass, Nursery Crime, certainly some early Camel as well. It's kind of what you get on this. Uh, Tomas Neuroth, piano, organ, and synthesizer. Hans Peter Schwartz, drums and percussion. Roger Wheeler, 6 and 12 string electric guitars. And Rainer Zimmer on bass. Uh, this was recorded live at F4 Studio, Sauerbrücken, April 1976. Okay, artwork by Thierry Moreau. So, um, you know, I've had the Battlements album from Neuschwanstein for many, 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 many years on CD. I love it. It's really great. It's one of the great kind of, you know, at the time, one and done albums from a uh, European, Eastern Europe, uh, progressive rock band from the 70s. It's a little gem. Like I said, if you love early Genesis, it's a no-brainer. No-brainer. Uh, wonderful, you know, English vocals, 
guy sounds just like Peter Gabriel. Kind of to me, it almost predates a lot of what some of the British bands would go to do into the 80s and into the early 90s, you know, like the IQs and Pendragons of the world. But it's definitely uh, closer, I think, to like Lamb and Foxtrot and, you know, those albums by Nursery Crime, Trespass by Genesis. So here you've got kind of that same style of music. Uh, this also reminds me of um, the Snow Goose by Camel in that you got the lovely flutes and nice guitars and keyboard textures and it all moves along very very nicely it's symphonic sweeping music um, I like Sonia Christina as a singer um, a lot because Curve Dare is great she's you know kind of kind of a legend in prog rock circles right uh, to me I didn't really think this needed narration uh, every time she comes in with the narration Again, she does a fine job, nothing against her. Uh, to me, it just kind of breaks up the music that's kind of playing along. And uh, again, she doesn't come on for too long, and it's sporadically throughout the album. I'm just not a big fan of that sort of thing. This, to me, would have made a much, much better 40-minute instrumental musical piece going straight through with no narration, because uh, it's a beautiful work of art. This is a really lovely piece of music. Uh, I'm just not taking the narration. Whether it's her, whether it's the original German version, I, you know, I just, again, nothing against Sonia. Lovely voice, lovely speaking voice as well. It, to me, it just, it breaks this album up every time she comes in, and I'm not digging that at all. But, you know, like, you get, like, all the, the back half, back third of the album, I believe, uh, I didn't time it or anything like that, but I believe that's free of any narration. It's just wonderful stuff. Love the keyboards, love the flutes and the swirling guitars and the acoustic guitars. I mean, it's just really, really nice. Uh, I'll lead you to read you the tracks. White Rabbit, Gate to Wonderland, uh, Pond of Tears, Old Father's Song, Five O'Clock Tea, Palace of Wonderland, The Court of the Animals, and Alice's Return. Really, really nice job. It's a shame this wasn't released back in the day, but I can kind of understand why, you know, especially with trying to reach out to you know english-speaking audiences with german narration the narration's kind of weirdly put in here anyway um and they figure you know now we'll take that out we'll put in english narration and we'll be more accessible to the rest of the world i get it i get it just release it without the narration that's what i'd rather hear right just on its own it's a wonderful piece of music so i would highly recommend if you're a prog rock fan love 70s prog rock and you like some of the bands and albums i mentioned already uh you will really enjoy this. Uh, I'm trying very hard to kind of like when the narration comes in just to kind of accept it and deal with it. But it, to me, it's just kind of like, ah, there it is. Everything else gets quiet. She's there. And then they pick back up again. I'm like, I would have liked to just just take it all out. Give us a version without it because I think it's a splendid piece of music. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to take off a half a point for the narration, which annoys me probably the only one uh but the music itself is wonderful so four out of five star this is a great little nugget from the vaults uh if you've never listened to new schwanstein i highly recommend their debut album battlements uh here you have you know basically almost the same band without the vocalist and uh creating some lovely music this is really really nice stuff so check it out it is on uh explore rights management limited you can also get this at lasercd.com ken golden's label he's got these in, in stock so uh Check it out. It does this on the web at www.cutranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together, all the damn time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I am P. Partle. We'll see you soon here with more stuff. Should have the new uh, threshold for you today. Uh, new archival live Jimi Hendrix Los Angeles Forum. Um, may get to one or two other things. We'll see how it goes. But uh, otherwise, we've got lots more coming up next week. What do we got? Uh, let's see. We got uh, new David Longden course who left us um just about a year ago lead singer of big big train he's got uh, an album he was working on finishing up solo album we got that got a new eden bridge got new uh, iron allies got new james labrie uh what else what else what else we got uh new surprise from uh, the oneness new archive release there got the new spell uh, got a cool little archival thing, uh, rarities and such from Sam Sarah Blues Experiment. They, of course, you know, split up, but we've got a new release from them. So, uh, so there's stuff to talk about for the next couple Wednesdays that'll get us through the end of the year. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I am P. Pardo. We'll see you real soon here. More stuff. Take care. Bye bye.